Okay, so have you ever wondered what it means when someone puts their phone screen side up on the dinner table? It means something? I guess so. <laughs> Apparently, so for better or worse, <laughs> how people interact with their phones actually says a lot about their personality. Right. And so we're going to do something of a personality quiz here, which uh -huh. is why we have our phones. We're going to do that with our friend Sharonica Earp from AT&T to walk yes. us through the connection quiz to see what kind of personality you have because mm -hmm. you can take this at home. And Sharonica, it, I mean, it sounds a little fun, sounds a little, a little scary, scary at the is. same time. <laughs> it's a little bit of both, right? What are we going to learn about ourselves? <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. So before we dive into it, I want you guys already thinking about how do you interact with your phone daily, right? Mm. Um, you know, how many phones do you have even? Unfortunately, sometimes we're carrying more than one. Like a personal oh. or work. Exactly. Or, yeah. So well, how okay. much of that has your attention? So we've teamed up with a licensed therapist uh, and influencer, Elizabeth Earnshaw, a.k.a. at Liz Talks, um, mm -hmm. to help create this connectivity quiz that will tell you a little bit more about your per your personality did and your you connection style. Yeah. I did take it. What did it what say about it? you? So this is, a, I'll tell you a little bit more about the quiz first. So okay. it's a little 14-question quiz, and it will include things like, do you keep Keep your phone up or down at the dinner table? Do you keep your red receipts on? Does your phone stay on silent or loud? Uh -huh, um, okay. And <laughs> obviously given my career, I was not super surprised <laughs> by my answers, uh, mm -hmm. but my connection style was home sweet phone. <laughs> oh. So my phone helps me stay on the move and in the know, acting as my home base for navigating life, which makes sense since this is my career. Yeah. Um, I'm an expert at finding adventure, tackling challenges, and connecting with others. So it recommends that I find someone who welcomes my open and communicative nature just to make sure that they understand that the screen does still come second to me. Because oh. for some of my answers, Ooh. I do keep my phone down at the dinner table or even totally away. Right. The little yeah, ones I'm good. trying to set a good example for. Yeah. So, but yeah, let's dive into the quiz. Well, I'm let's really do it. Okay, so I've pulled, I've pulled it up here. And awesome. so we're going to take this and Sharonica, I think you're going to read out the questions as we start this and yes. then we're going to go along with everybody at home. Absolutely. Okay. So All right, so the first quiz. one, okay. at the dinner table, is your phone facing up or down? Hmm, sometimes mine's up if I'm out at a restaurant, I hate to admit. I'm kind of, well, I was going to say, I, I'm trying to think of which I do more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'm more of a phone down, though. More of a phone down, okay. okay. So question number two, what's your ringer volume? Silence is golden or loud and proud? What is your what? The, the, ringer, it, the volume. ringer volume. Do you keep it on oh. silent or do you keep your alerts on loud? I'm a, si I'm a silence. silence. Silence is golden, golden. for yes. Taylor. Okay. I would say me too. Okay. okay. Number three, for your screen time, are you present in real life or do you do a lot of doom scrolling? <laughs> <laughs> I hate to put you on the spot here, Taylor. <laughs> Am I, I present in I'm real? not always no, looking at mine like I, a lot of people. Well, here's do. the thing, though. I do more of the scrolling at nighttime, but Same. if I'm around people, I'm present. Yes. Me too. Same. So I'm yeah. going to say present. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, question number four, are your read receipts on? So when somebody sends you a message, can they see that you have read it or only that it's been delivered? No, I'm don't an know. off. They don't need to know. They don't need to know. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. So. Susan said, I don't know where that setting is. She said, I don't even so. know where that setting is. Yeah, where is that setting? <laughs> all right. Your battery level. Is your phone mostly charged? or are you low power mode was really invented for you? I'm mm. mostly charged. Nice. Well, on the weekends, mine usually is hovering at low power mode. Uh, <laughs> I don't know Your why. Your weekend kind of gal? I guess. I just <laughs> forget to charge it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What about the state of your phone screen? Smooth and protected or chronically cracked? I'll smooth it. Uh, yeah, I was going to yeah. say I have a protector. You guys have been dealing with me long enough to know yes. that, right? Yeah, yeah. we're like, no, we don't want Sharonica to, <laughs> to get right. on to us. Text or call? Do you prefer texting me? Don't even think about leaving a voicemail? Or are you a certified yapper and you love a good phone oh, call? texting for me. So you're te I'm a certified yapper. I'm old school. I'm like, <laughs> look, if, if you text me and I don't answer, I'm one of the, but I'm also, I'll either text you back immediately or I'll text you back six months later. <laughs> and then people that are like, did you not say that? Did you, oh, it is? Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. In terms of what phone you're using, is it latest and greatest or does vintage work just fine? We're polar opposite on this um, one. Vintage. I think. <laughs> latest and great, yeah. Susan still has a button. Yeah. So still have a button that, on that, that, that bad? You. Well, it's just a little bit older. We haven't had one of those in, in five or six years, but. It's okay. It's okay. We can help you out with that, Susan. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Question number nine. Taylor, do you do do not disturb? Like, is 2024 the year of respecting boundaries, or do you hit notify anyway if somebody has do not disturb on? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I respect the boundaries. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Maybe sleeping. You're right. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. All right. Question number 10. <laughs> okay, here we go. The I'll text back. Is that immediately and maybe sooner, or do you leave it unread for three to five business days? Is there, oh, an, is there, immediately is there an other for like six months? <laughs> now, my kids, I'm sorry, on everyone. The other hand, it may be like a week before they respond right. sometimes, and then I keep messaging them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about your wallpaper? Is that a walking picture frame or factory settings only? It's a walking oh. picture frame. What does that mean? So do you have like a personal? You have a personal picture. Do, oh, okay. You have, you I have, have my dog. dog. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Okay. Sure. All right. Question 12. Uh, are your apps organized? Uh, are folders life for you or do you have apps all over the place? No, I have folders. I like to be organized. Mm -hmm. All right. 13. What about voice memos? Are you sending your bestie a podcast about your day or are you anti-voice memos? My aunt, I'm still going to select anti. I mean, I would. I don't think I send But those. I don't send them a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. And what about your notifications? Are you one of those people that can handle 32 unread messages and 1,500 <laughs> emails? Or yes. are they always how many? How many unread messages I, do you still have? I had a bunch. Did you I clear them out? <laughs> down to about 100. I think you were in like the hundreds yeah, or saying, something. Yes. Okay. But I'm always clearing. So okay. let's see. So let's submit. All right. What'd you get, Taylor? Okay. So here's what mine says. My connection. Oh, we're the same ones. Home sweet phone. Perfect. So I'm. Um, it stay, helps me stay on the move, in the know, acting mm -hmm. as my home base. But I need to find someone who welcomes my open and communicate. Um, and basically, I just communicate a lot. Is what yeah. I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. So I feel like but that I do that for my job. Balance. So uh, yeah. I'm gonna have my team take this today as I'm out in the How field. Fun. I want to know a little bit more about the answers. You're doing yours. Like, but I, I want to see what yours is. That was a really good balance <laughs> for us, right? right? Like you do have your phone, you're able to be reached, but you also know when it's time to put it down and exactly. be present in the moment. What is the website where everyone at home can take this? That is att.com okay. backslash connection quiz. So, or quiz. you could just okay. Google AT&T connection quiz. Oh, okay. Good. Sharonic, this was so fun. It was, yeah. yeah. And we did just share some tips too yeah. on if it tells you that maybe your etiquette is not great. Yeah. Got five tips for you to share there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So as far as apps go, set some boundaries. Turn that screen time on. Yeah. Don't do that doom scrolling. I'm like you do. I do it a lot at night. Uh, need it's kind of my yeah. reading material, mm -hmm. but it doesn't help sometimes. Right. Uh, consider putting your phone away, especially when you're together, when you want to be present with your family and friends. Put it up. It can wait. Mm -hmm. uh, take care of it. You guys know I'm an advocate of that. Yes. Putting that protector on the screen or putting that protection plan on. Uh, don't text when you're mad. Uh, you oh, know, that's a good one. Uh, the, the tone is not there, unfortunately, right. when you're texting someone. So don't text when you're mad. And then last but not least, set expectations for your communication style. Mm -hmm. So if you've met someone new and you know they're a texter and you're a caller, they may think something's wrong when you're calling them after that <laughs> so long text message yeah. or if you haven't answered yeah. in six months, uh -huh. unless they know that's your normal. I know. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Veronica. This has been so fun yes. and uh, so uh, just great information. It has. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> Enjoy taking it at home. Yeah. <laughs>